Use the compound interest formula to compute the total amount accumulated and the interest earned. So what it's saying is that we have $3,500, it's our principal, that's what we're investing, for five years at a 4% compounded quarterly. And the problem is asking for the total amount accumulated after five years. So let's start by writing the compound interest formula, which is A is equal to T times 1 plus R over N raised to the power of N times T. So in this formula, the A represents the amount after our time T. And the P is our principal, which the principal is the amount that you initially invested. So in this case, that'll be our $3,500. Our R is our rate, but we have to plug it in as a decimal, not as a percent. N is the number of compounds per year. And we'll talk about that in just a second. T is time in years. Okay. So now that we have our formula and we've defined our variables, let's start plugging things in. So our total amount is what we're looking for. A is the total amount. That is equal to the principal, which is the amount that we are investing, which is $3,500 in this case, times... 1 plus, we have a 4% rate that's, in a, that's a percent, and to change 4% into a decimal, we take the decimal, which is to the right, we move it to the left at two places, or divide by 100, which makes a 0 0.04 decimal. So we'll plug that in for our R. Divide that by the number of compounds per year. It says in the problem that we are compounding quarterly. So quarterly means four times a year, just like there's four quarters in a dollar. So we'll put four for our N. And N repeats up here, so we can put four again, times the time in years, which it says that we're investing for five years. So from here, we just need to simplify. Let's start by... Um, Grab my calculator and do 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by 4. And I get that to be 1.01 .01 inside the parentheses. 4 times 5 is 20. So now I'll do 1.01 .01 to the power of 20, which I get that to be 1.22. And it continues, 1.22019, but 1.22 is close enough. And multiply that by 3,500. That gives me $4,270. It says 0.665, but you usually, when you're dealing with money, you usually round to the nearest cent. So we'll round to the 6. The number after the 6 is 5, so we'll add 1 to the 6 because it's five or up, so $4,270.67 is the amount that we have after five years. Um, the other thing it asks in the problem is the interest earned. So the interest earned would be the, um, the total amount that we end with, subtracting out the principal. So let's take our $4,270.67 um, and subtract out the $3,500. If we subtract out the $3,500, we get $770.67 would be the total interest earned. So there we go. I hope this problem was helpful for you.
If it was, please like the video. And if you'd like to see more similar videos of homework help problems, um, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for all notifications. Also, if you have any questions or, or comments or other problems you would like to see um, similar step-by-step -step solutions done, videos done for, just leave them in the comments or I also have in the description, I have my email if you'd like to send me a picture of a problem that is difficult to explain in words. Thanks for watching.